What's up, YouTube? Brutal Moodle here. Today I'm playing 4D toys within VR. Uh, who doesn't want to play around with the fourth dimension? <laughs> I know I do. Actually, I'm really super interested in other dimensions and other realities, different universes, parallel universes, multiverse theory, all that shit is just so goddamn fascinating to me. So I am actually really excited to play with me some 4D toys. So let's go in here and we can see already that uh, the toys are just kind of disappearing and that, that's kind of it they're just kind of, oh god my controller is just flying way over there uh, all right press the trigger on your controller to grab objects how do i try to grab you okay so how do you work how do you go into the fourth dimension oh there's a little arrow thing going this way do i put you over here what does this do can i grab you i don't know do i drop you in there Oh, he just kind of disappeared. I don't know what this arrow's for. Oh, was that like begin the game? Oh! Is there like story to this? What is going... I didn't think... I thought this was just kind of a sandbox thing. I don't... I don't know what this stuff is. Oh. It's moving. Was it doing that before? I don't... Uh, can I click a picture? Oh, I slide. Do, is, do I choose like a level? I choose this level! Hey, I can't I can only slide left and right. Do I walk into it? That's how I choose my level? Ah uh, No, that's not how it works. Well what the hell? Uh Yes! Swipe! And look at all these different things. Oh look at that dude. He has a bunch of different arms and heads and stuff like that. So all the it's just showing like different four-dimensional creatures. This doesn't look like a four-dimensional creature. This just looks like a hand pressing like a little button. So what's this? Uh, that looks like the companion cube. Now the companion cube is getting electrified. Oh shit, now the companion cube is going away. Maybe it's being transported into the fourth dimension. I think it's gone now. Now, I, so this is the story, I, I assume. Oh, well, I guess I could sit down and look at the story. That would make sense. Uh, do chill now. Picnic with birds. Is, is some shit gonna happen to him? Is are the birds just gonna start like disappearing into the other dimensions? Oh, there's the the cube. It's reappearing into a different dimension. Awesome, awesome. And the cube just happened to land right into like this lake. So now it's gonna sink. It looks like it's sinking. I can hear water. That's weird. Uh, but then it looks like it's reappearing again. Oh, there's our dude with the picnic. And he's like, oh, shit. There's a cube there that wasn't there before. Wait, was there water next to him? Uh, look back. Okay, yeah, there was. There, there's water right there. Uh, go back, oh, this guy. All right, so he's he's checking it out. He's like, oh, my God, there's a cube there that wasn't there before. What the hell is this? Oh, oh, shit. He's like, I'm playing with other dimensions. He doesn't know that. He's just like, what the hell is, what the hell is going on right now? Uh, I'd be confused, too. I'd be less confused now because I have a little bit of knowledge in the in in how different dimensions work. The, you know, the different dimensions. But it would still be freaky. So, all right. Is that it? Am, am I the am I the kid or that guy? You know, I, where's my cube? Like I see these things. I guess I'll just play Oh. Press the trigger on your controller to grab the box and move it here. Alrighty. Now what? Did I just put the box? Okay. Oh, okay, what's this? Oh! Oh, hello! Oh, keep sliding down on the thumb peg to find the block. Oh, man. I don't, there's a lot of blocks. Which block am I finding? The one that I put right here? Sliding down on the thumb pad to find the block. I, uh, is this you? Are you the block? No, you're not the block. Oh, this is the colored block I need. Okay, oh, that's weird. So I'll put you right there. All right, excellent. It's training me. Okay, it's training me what to do. So I need to find the colored block again. All the other blocks don't matter. I wonder if I can grab the block when it's only like a little sliver. Like that. Can I do that? Okay, cool. It doesn't need to be the whole block. As long as I grab a piece of the block, we're good. Uh, next. Where are you, block? Uh, you're in one of these dimensions. 
Ah, there you are. I found you. Son of a bitch. Yay! Oh my god, there's so many other toys to play with. Oh my god, I'm, I'm so excited. Where's the Tesseract? Are these all Tesseracts? I can't tell. Uh, I'm gonna scoot back here for a second. I'm gonna play with this little guy. Can I play with you? The 24 cell faces, 120 cell faces, 600, 600 cell faces. That's a lot of cells. Click the shape again to enter the level. Well, I, I don't want to start with 600. That seems like just a little bit much. So let's start with the little guy. How about that? Five cell. I like five. No, we can go even smaller. No, that's five cell too. This one just has, I'm going to just stick with this one. Okay. Click the shape again to enter the level. Sweet. Uh, question mark? What do you do? The five cell is a 4D equivalent of the tetrahedron, just like the triangle. It's the simplest 2D shape, 3D, three lines, and the tetra, tetrahedron, I don't know how to say it, is the simplest 3D shape, four triangles. The five cell is the simplest 4D shape. <laughs> this is so cool. Uh, these shapes are called simplices because they are the simplest shapes for a given number of dimension. Simplices. Is it simplices or simplices? I don't know. So, three, oh, what's one? So I see like there's a number going on right there. So I assume I can slide up and down to go into different dimensions. Okay, so right here we got our regular three. I, I, I don't know what the numbers are for though. So I'm gonna put you in a different dimension. Is that how that works? I don't know. Uh. So there's going to be part of this in a different dimension, right? Maybe? I don't know. Well, shit. I, I can transfer between different dimensions, but this little guy is trapped in here until... Until... Wait a minute. If I hold it, is it going to disappear while I'm sliding? Oh, I think it's freaking out. It's, it's getting trapped in me. <laughs> I'm tra I'm bringing it to other dimensions. That's what I'm, I think I'm doing right now. Because before, if I set it on the ground where there's the three blocks, and then I transfer my dimensions, he doesn't exist when I transfer into the dim this dimension where there's nothing. But if I bring the three blocks back, hold this little cube, and then go into... Yeah, see now? I, I brought him with me into this other dimension. That's cool! You're with me, little buddy! We are traveling through the dimensions. Awesome. What's this? That resets it, I assume? Alright. I've had enough with you. I want to check out this guy. The five cell faces. Alright. The five cell is the 4D equivalent of the tetrahedron. Uh, uh, same thing, right? It's just uh, this one you see holes in the surface. In this scene, each tetrahedron... Tetrahedron has been made hollow, which is why you see holes in the surface. Now, these hollow ones are what are really weird. So, all right, let me transfer dimension. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's that's weird seeing the hollow. Ooh. Can you imagine being in a 4D world? Not on a 3D plane, but actually being in a 4D world where everything is just constantly changing like this? I mean, obviously, it's it's normal to the, the, the 40 creatures or beings or whatever that exist in the 40 plane. Just like if a 2D creature was to come to our 3D world, they'd be like, holy shit, what is, I can't even comprehend this. And I'm having a hard time comprehending this right now. It's all awesome, though. It's a, it's all so cool. All right, uh, let's see, what else we got here? Uh, what's this one? One Tesseract and one Hypersphere. Hyper, hyper Beach Ball. Okay. Let's play with that one. That sounds like fun. We got ourselves a beach ball and a hypercube. Uh, where's my... I don't have a question box. That's all right. So what happens when I... Okay, the ball just shrinks. That's weird. So... Is that how spheres work? Hypercubes in 4D space? They just kind of shrink and... Oh! It's not just shrinking. The... Look at that! The shape of, not not the shape, but all the, the, the way it's textured on there, it completely changes. I don't know how to describe that, but you can see right here, it's like a beach ball. Every, all the colors are even, but when I, when I take it back and go a little bit into a different dimension right there, look at, it's almost like completely orange. Can I get it completely orange? <laughs> oh, that, that was tough. Look at that. It's just two colors now. Oh my God. 
What the hell? Okay. All right, all right. What about what about you? I've, I haven't even been paying attention to Mr. Hypercube over here. What do you do, Mr. Hypercube? Okay, yeah, so you just get kind of spliced. Does it matter? I wonder if it matters if I turn you, if you get spliced in different directions. Okay, so it's... What? What if I do this now and splice... Splice you... So it's splicing from this way, coming this way, but when I... Oh god, man. Yeah, see, now it's splicing from this way now that I turn the cube. Man, 40 hurts my brain in the best of ways. I love hurting my brain like this. All right, so... All right, I've seen the cube spliced this way, and it's... Oh, I can go the other way, too. So what happens with the ball? So if I if I got nothing, and I go this way, bring the ball into existence again, and then I just keep on going, oh, then it just goes out of existence. What happens if I keep you while I'm holding you and I'm bringing you into other dimensions? I guess it just does the same thing. Kind of freaks out. It's like, but I want to change dimensions, but you're holding me, so I can't! All right, let's go back. What are you guys? What are you guys? Stack of hyperspheres. A stack of hyperspheres? What am I going to do with this? Can I balance you on top? Probably not. Oh, shit. I, I booped them into other dimensions. I got to go find them now. Oh, my God. That's so cool. Wait, where are they? Oh, my God. There they are. I found some. What the hell? Okay. Then I found some more. So I can boop them into other dimensions? Get out of here. Oh. Oh. Oh, let's bring you back. What if I just throw you? Ugh. Do you go into other dimensions by yourself, or do you have to boop other 40 objects to go into other dimensions? I don't. I guess I gotta boop. Here, let's bring you. Let's bring you to this guy. Let's see what happens when I smash you. Oh shit! They're gone. They're they're gone. Uh, where'd you go, little? Oh, there's the orange one. Oh my god. All right, all right. And boop. And, and it's gone. And it's gone. All right. All right. Well, that was fun. Uh, oh my god, look at all these balls. 40 ball pit, 100 hyperspheres. This is probably going to get laggy. Oh shit. Oh my god, there's so many balls. Oh my god. So I wonder... I don't know how the, any of this works, really. I'm just fascinated by it, even though I don't know how it works. But I wonder, like, if I smash this green ball into this blue ball, and like if I go over to a different dimension, and that blue ball ends up hitting like that orange ball, for example, I wonder if it would cause like a chain reaction of, I guess I'm going to test it out, of it just uh, other balls bouncing in and out of hyperspace. Because last time, I was bouncing balls and they were just disappearing. But there weren't other balls in other dimensions, because there was only a certain amount of balls to play with. So, alright, get out of there. So that one got bigger. Oh, see, it bounced another ball back. Just like I goddamn thought it would. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. All right, hold on now. Hold on. Shazam! You're back. Oh, yeah. Look at this. In and out. I know this seems... If if no one had any context of what dimensions are, it just seems like the balls are just kind of just disappearing. It seems like kind of super lame. But if you actually understand what's happening with how dimensions work, which I don't think anyone could really fully comprehend. But this stuff like this, this game definitely makes you see things in different ways to help us comprehend being in a different dimension, which is impossible for us since we don't live in that dimension. But this is super cool. I like this. I like playing with the balls, making different balls pop in and out of different dimensions. Uh, that's, I wonder if I can get this room just empty. Come on, get all these balls out of here. Smash all the balls. Oh, look like you just sucked into there. All right. Eh. Yes. We're, we're doing it. The other dimension is going to have so many balls in it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Is there no room? Oh, you know what? There's probably no room. There's probably no room in the other dimension. I bet you if I go over to the other dimension, there's going to be other balls that are, are taking that spot. Look! There, look at all the balls taking all the spots! No wonder they couldn't move! Oh my god, look at this! Look at that! There's no room for you guys! What if I go over here? There might be room over here. Or, actually, if I toss them in the air. There we go. Boom! That didn't work. Uh, 
smash you. Is there any room in any other dimensions? Oh, there's room for you. Oh, but he <laughs> popped that guy back in. All right, come on, we're gonna we're gonna get you guys out of this dimension. I promise you. Oh, well, well shit. What do I do with this guy? I guess I guess you gotta stay in this dimension. I'm sorry, guy. You're gonna be the lone ball all alone in this dimension. How sad. Well, see you later. We're gonna have a party in here. Woo! See, now I brought him back some friends, probably. Yep, see? He has some friends now. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, God damn, there's so many things to play with. The fourth dimension and interactive experience. Uh, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. This one looks kind of cool. Boxes and lever. Let's play with boxes and lever. Oh, God. I wasn't ready for that. So it only happens when the 4D objects interact with each other, I think. Yeah. That's how it works. But I don't know how to get these to interact with each other all the time. Uh, let's go back and find this guy. Okay. What if I just sit him on top of that? That's not going to do anything, right? No. Okay. Oh, oh there. All right, let's bring you back because you seem to be the, the key to everything. Uh, so if I put you... Oh, God, this is going to be tough. All right. All right, all right, all right. Uh, shit. I'm just going to stick with you right here. Right there. Good. And now we're going to do like a diving board kind of thing. Bam! Oh, that, that was anticlimactic. What if I just smash you? <laughs> there we go. Look, now you're a triangle. How beautiful is it? That's so cool. That's so awesome. And now it's gone. And it's gone. All right. Uh, 4D bowling? Who the... I want, I want a VR game specifically for 4D bowling. It's probably not as cool as it sounds. But it sounds cool. Come on, bowl. So can the bowling ball be sent into other dimensions? Yes, yes it can. Yes it can. Where'd you go, little bowling ball? I know you're here somewhere. There you are. Give me it, give me it. Bowling, this is how you bowl, right? This is how we bowl in the fourth dimension. Cool. All right, maybe, maybe one more. All right, all right. There's so many to play with. Oh, I gotta play with the, the this one, the 600 cell faces. That's insane, okay. Uh, what's this? What did that do? Using alternate color? Oh, does it change the color? Oh! Using normal color scheme? Alternate color scheme. Oh, God, look at him go! Oh, God! Oh, man. I'm gonna go with the normal color scheme. There we go. Alright. Oh, look at you change. Oh, oh, no, come back! Oh, that was amazing! Oh, that's right. I don't even need to grab it. I can just change the dimensions. With my slider here. Oh, just constantly changing. What the hell are you doing? Oh. Oh. So, yeah. Everything in a 4D world. Well, I'm viewing this 4D object from a 3D plane. Because we can't escape our 3D little world here. But in everything in a 4D world, everything would be constantly changing like this. Just constantly. Like, I get to control when it does it here, but... There is no control in the 40 world. It's just constantly just morphing into in and out of other shapes. Oh, God, this is amazing. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, and it's gone. Oh, wow, that's that's really cool. Anyone who has any any sort of fascination at all with Dimensions 40 stuff, and if you want to learn more about kind of how it feels it would work in a 40 world, I highly recommend you do that. I think there's a non-VR mode. I'm not sure. But uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I had a blast doing it. Uh, make sure you give it a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll catch all you guys in the next video.